Hollywood is everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Toe. And now, here's our host, Jim Caldwell. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Tic Tac Toe. We have a great audience. We're going to have some fun today. We have two terrific players, I think. We're right in the middle of a game. And, Charlie, let's bring them out. Jim first, our current champion. He's an attorney and basketball referee whose interests include body surfing and sailing. His winnings total in cash and prize is $6,300. Meet Ted Scott. And his opponent is a cosmetologist and model whose interests include theater and roses. Meet Madeline Craven. Hello, Madeline. I'm terrific, and how about yourself? I'm doing fine, thank you. Have, you. you have a big smile ready to go, huh? Right. Good for you. You're a model. Tell us about it. Well, I did uh, my first stint of modeling a couple of weeks ago, and uh, it was interesting. What's it like? Well, it's a lot of hard work. I model the clothes for the ladies with the large figures. Okay. And uh, you're always taking your clothes off, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, wait a second. <laughs> I'm not going to take that any further. Of course, now and then you're changing all the time. That can be hard work, can't it? Oh, yeah, it's very hard work. Uh, but the worst thing about it is, uh, you know, you have to develop an attitude. Mood, style, and attitude. Right, and That's then you key. have to get this little peculiar walk that you have to do. <laughs> well, you're brand new at it, huh? Right. Wish you lots of luck with Thank it. What you. do you do in your spare time? Uh, I raise roses. I have about 60 varieties of roses, and I like to arrange them. I give them to friends. Good for you. I once knew a guy who uh, wanted to give flowers to his lover, but his wife wouldn't let him. Yeah, well, I can understand that, too. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck in the game. Thank you. Ted, welcome back. Thank you, Jim. Good to have you, you back. Bet. This man is a body surfer. Tell us about that. That's right. Well, I uh, live near the beach, and as often as I can, especially during the summer when the water is warm, I try to go down to the beach and uh, do some body surfing. It's great but exercise. It is. It's very good exercise, and all it really takes is uh, a pair of fins and some waves. Well, you've been making some waves here so far. You've picked up $6,300. <laughs> and let's get started with a brand new game. Ted Scott and Madeline Craven. Those are the players. And let's take a look at the nine categories you're playing with today. They are, finish the list, it's a dilemma, geology, colors, the Bible, number please, movies, auction, and who am I. Those are the nine categories. And remember, those red boxes mean those are special categories, and I'll explain them as we go. So, here's what's happening. Ted, you're the champ. Take it away. I'll try uh, who am I in the bottom right-hand corner. All right, Ted, look. I'm the Greek philosopher who, 300 years before Christ, said that the world was round. I also invented logic, studied under Plato, and was tutor to Alexander the Great. Who am I? Socrates. No, Aristotle. All right, Ted, let's shuffle. Let's get right over to you, Madeline, and see where you're going to go first. Oh, why don't we go to the top right and take colors, please? Colors you shall have, Madeline. According to a 16th century proverb, if a shepherd sees the, if he, excuse me, if a shepherd sees this color sky in the morning, he should take warning. But that same color sky at night should fill that shepherd with delight. Name the color. Is it red? It is red. All right, Madeline. Oh, goes in the top right-hand corner for colors. Two hundred dollars in the pot. Let's shuffle. All right, Ted. Back to you. I'll try geology in the middle. All right, two-part question. You'll have some extra time, Ted. When a volcano erupts, molten rock pours down the side of the mountain. If that rock is full of natural gas, the rock hardens into a kind of light, sponge-like rock which will actually float on water. That light white rock is used for scouring and scrubbing. What name is given to the red-hot rock that pours out of a volcano? And also, what is the special name given to the light sponge-like rock? Here's your extra time, Ted. <laughs> Going for that center box worth $300, Ted. When a volcano erupts, molten rock pours down the side of the mountain. What name is given to the red-hot rock that pours out of a volcano? Lava. Lava is right. Now, part two. What is the special name given to the light sponge-like rock? I believe that's pumice. Right. You have the center box. Strategic box gets an X. 500 in the pot. Let's go ahead and shuffle everything around and... Okay, Madeline, your turn. 
Let's try colors in the lower left, please. You like that category. Oh, it's the only one I'm sure of. I All think. right. <laughs> Here's the question. This popular singer led his choral reefer band to the top of the pop charts with hit singles like Margaritaville and the colorfully titled album A White Sport Coat and a Pink Crustacean. Name him. Oh, my goodness. Blue Danube. Would you believe Jimmy Buffett? No. Jimmy Buffett's the man, Madeline. Can't give that box to you. Oh. So with $500 in the pot, let's take a break. We'll be right back. Game $500 in the pot, and it's time to shuffle. And it's been shuffled. Ted, what are you going to do? I think I'll try movies in the lower right-hand corner. Okay, Ted, take a look at this picture. Now, she was a model, then a disco singer, and in the James Bond film, A View to a Kill, she played the exotic and deadly May Day. Name her. Jones. Grace Jones is right. <laughs> a unique personality, and that's for sure, Ted, gives you an X in the bottom right-hand corner. We're up to 700 in the pot. Let's shuffle them up. All right, Madeline. I'm going to have to take the Bible in the upper left. Top left-hand corner, going for a block, Madeline. In Genesis, this boy was given a colorful coat by his father, only to have it stolen by his jealous brothers, who then threw him down a well. He was rescued and eventually became one of Pharaoh's advisors. For a block, name him. Is it Jacob? No, Joseph. Oh, Joseph. Ooh, sorry, oh. Madeline, can't give you that block. 700 in the pot. Let's shuffle. Ted. I'll try auction for the win. Auction category. It's red box means it's a special category, Ted. Either one of you can earn the box in the auction category. You want it for a game win. Madeline, if you get this box, you'll have a successful block. Now, in this category, you both will bid on how many correct answers you can give to this question. And remember, high bidder gets control. I have the list of the eight instruments which are most often played in high school bands. You must name them. All right, Ted, you chose the category. The bidding starts with you. Four. He says four, Madeline. I'll go for five. All right, she's up to five, Ted. What do you think? Six. Six. I'll go for all eight. You're going to jump for eight. I'm going to go for eight. All right, Madeline, you have to make your bid of eight instruments which are most often played in high school bands. And if you do, you'll have a block. Go. Trumpet. Yes. Drums. That's another one. Piano. Not on the list. Ah. Uh. Ted, if you can give me just one of the six that are left on this list, you'll win your second game of tic-tac-toe and pick up a grand total of $7,200. Clarinet's one of them? That's right, you win! I get it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Clarinet is on the list, Ted. It sure is. The other five, which weren't listed, cymbals, the flute, saxophone, trombone, and would you believe the tuba? Round out that list of eight instruments which are most often played in uh, high school bands. Congratulations, Ted. Gives you a, a diagonal tic-tac-toe. $900 added to your previous winnings. $7,200. You're going to play against the dragon here in just a little bit, but first, Madeline Craven, we enjoyed having you. I was glad to be here, and thank you very much. We know that, you know, it's a long road coming to Tic-Tac-Toe. You have to meet a lot of qualifications. Congratulations for making it here, yeah. and we wish you the best of luck in the future. Well, thank you again. We'll be right back to see how well Ted can do against the Dragon right after this. Hey. Opponent, and it's time, Ted, to come on over and see how well you do against the Dragon. Come on. Here you are again. Yes, I am. You're an old pro at this by now, aren't I'm you? I'm staying lucky so far. Well, you beat him the first time. Let's see if you can do it the second time. Hopefully. Behind his numbers, various amounts of money, the tick, the tack, and the dragon. You want to get $1,000 or more, or get the tick and the tack, and you'll win this terrific prize package. Charlie? Well, Ted, these gifts will introduce you to two marvels constructed of metal. The first marvel, Ted, is made of brass, this classic brass bed. By Drescher, this beautiful, genuine brass bed design, beautifully at home in any setting, it's that special look of elegance only Drescher gives you. And the second marvel, Ted, is constructed of iron, but to see it, you'll have to take a trip to see the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France.
You'll savor the elegance and luxury of this romantic European capital, known for its grand boulevards, candlelit bistros, fabulous museums and gourmet cuisine. You'll visit the dazzling landmarks, experience the ageless charm of the city of lights. It's a vacation you'll cherish forever. First, you'll fly a round trip from Los Angeles to London via Northwest Orient Airlines in the comfort of their jumbo 747 jets from Northwest Orient. Then you'll have a special trip, Ted, via brick rail staying one night in london and then on to paris france accommodations for four nights at the four-star concord hotel including traditional continental breakfast and an exciting explorer pass to see the country at your leisure by brit rail this metal marvels package is worth in cash and prizes exactly four thousand six hundred dollars you like the sound of that, huh? I would like to go there. That would be fun. Just avoid the dragon at all costs. That's that's your chore right here, Ted. Oh, sure try. So uh, get the tick and the cack. Of course, you'll get uh, the money automatically. Mm -hmm. The dragon's hidden. He's in there somewhere. Don't hit him. All right. All right. Where are you going to go first? Got some help from the audience? Yeah. Anybody in particular? <laughs> Who's out there? Yes. My girlfriend, Joni, says number three, so right. that's what we'll go with. All right, Joni, number three it'll be. Oh! for you, Johnny. My goodness. Where was everything up there? Let's go ahead and check it out. Gosh darn it, the tick and the tack were stacked over there in the, in the left-hand side. Hey, that's okay. You're up to $7,200. You get to go back and meet a new contestant right now, Ted. Well, we're going to wish Ted some luck to see how well he can do against his next challenger. Let's meet him right now. Charlie? Well, Jim, he's a musician and singer who does sound-alikes. His interests include politics and bowling. Meet Jerry Wright. <laughs> Hello, Jerry. Politics and bowling, huh? Well, <laughs> Strange Jerry, combination. Huh? And you do sound alike. So yes, I do. I do. I do uh, vocal impressions of uh, Neil Diamond, Tony Bennett, Frank Sinatra. You do? Yes, I do. Oh, you're going to have to regale us with an example. Please. All right. Frank Sinatra? Sure. Close. And now uh, the end is near, and so I face the final curtain. My friend, I'll say it clear. I'll state my case, of which I'm certain. Hey, that's terrific. That is great. <laughs> Many people do Sinatra, Jerry, but you definitely do it my way. Thank you. You really do. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Let's take a look at the nine categories you and Ted will be playing with this time around. They are sex symbols, showdown. Uh, what is that there? That says Canada, Disney, medical facts, opponent's choice, Maps of Nations, Top This, and Young Stars. Those are the nine categories. Remember, the red boxes are special categories, and I'll explain them as we go. Ted, you're the champ. Go ahead and start us off. I think I'll try Canada in the upper right-hand corner. The one I couldn't read initially. <laughs> Listen carefully, Ted. The smallest of Canada's ten provinces is this island off the east coast of New Brunswick. It was once called St. John's Island, but in, in 1799, it was renamed after a prince of England. Name him. Nova Scotia. Edward. Prince Edward Island, Ted. So, let's shuffle. Go ahead and get right over to you, Jerry, for a selection. My favorite, sex symbols. <laughs> Your favorite? Okay, listen carefully, Jerry. This comic book superheroine has been played by two sexy actresses. Kathy Lee Crosby had the role in a 1974 TV movie, and Linda Carter had the role on a TV series. Name that superheroine. Wonder Woman. Right. <laughs> Sex symbols gets an O. 200 in the pot. Let's shuffle them up. Well, on a second thought, let's wait a second, take a break. We'll come right back, and then we'll shuffle. We just started a new game. There's $200 in the pot. It's time to shuffle. And, Ted, it's your turn. I think I'll try medical facts in the upper right-hand corner, Jim. All right, Ted, this large muscle separates the chest from the abdomen and is the chief muscle used in breathing. It has a name taken from two Greek words meaning across and fence. Name that muscle. Could you repeat that question, please? All right, I will. This large muscle separates the chest from the abdomen and is the chief muscle used in breathing. It has a name taken from two Greek words meaning across and fence. Name it. Diaphragm? Right. <laughs> Had to think about it, Ted, but you got it. That's exactly right. Medical fact gets an X. 400 in the pot. Let's go ahead and shuffle. Jerry? Okay. May I try sex symbols again, please? I'll let you. You like it, don't you? Uh-huh. Let's see what happens this time. This sexy lady is known for her violet-colored eyes, 
two Academy Awards and her many marriages to famous men such as Senator John Warner. Name her. Taylor. Elizabeth Taylor's right. A pretty lady. Okay, bottom left-hand corner gets an O. 600 in the pot. Time to shuffle again. Ted, we're back to you. I've got to try medical facts in the bottom right-hand corner to block them. Two times in a row in this category for you. Listen carefully, Ted. This tendon attaches the calf muscle to the heel bone. Without it, we would not be able to jump or stand on our toes. The tendon is named after a Greek hero whose only vulnerable spot was on his heel. For a block, name that tendon. Achilles. Achilles is right. <laughs> Which means tendon. So, you have a successful block. Bottom right-hand corner, 800 in the pot. Let's shuffle. Jerry, back to you. Uh, to block the showdown. Showdown category. It's a special one. You're going for a block, but because it is a special category, either one of you can earn it. And Ted, if you get this box, you'll win your third game of Tic-Tac-Doe. Now, I'm going to ask questions with two-part answers. The first of you to buzz in with a correct answer wins the box, unless your opponent can come up with the other half. We'll keep playing till one of you fails to come up with an answer. Hands on the buzzers. Name the first two books of the Bible. Ted. Genesis. That's one. Jerry? Luke. No! Ted, you won the game! That was quick, Ted. Genesis and Exodus was the other book, the first two books of the Bible. Ted, you just picked up $1,000, added to your previous winnings, you're up to $8,200. Congratulations to you, Ted. Well, once again, you're going to walk over here and see if you can uh, soundly uh, defeat the dragon. But first, Jerry Wright, I'm sorry we didn't have more time to spend with you. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Thanks, Jim. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you had a good time. We have some nice parting gifts for you. Thank you for playing Tic-Tac-Toe, Jerry. Good luck. Good luck. Ted, come on over. Let's play the bonus game. Wow. <laughs> Quick work. That's okay. right. You're fast and lucky. Well, that dragon is jumping around right now. In a minute, he's going to find a place to hide. But for, uh, you know, for you to play the game, you've got to know what you're going to win. Charlie O'Donnell, what's he have in store? Well, Ted, these gifts will combine to make a truly a special dinner for your family. First, Ted, you'll savor the taste of meats barbecued on this great gas grill. Charbroiled, mid-sized, and portable gas barbecue grills for outdoor cooking, constructed of weather-resistant aluminum and steel. Enjoy cookouts in your backyard or travels furnished by Charbroil. Then you'll dine in style from this gleaming china. Verdano Limoges, four-place setting of Artois dinnerware, elegant china enhanced by traditional design, interpreted for today's lifestyle from Bernardo Limoges. Next, you'll drink from a set of sparkling crystal, selected with a $300 gift certificate from JT's General Store. Select from fashions, housewares, and much more in the JT's General Store in-home shopping catalog. And finally, Ted, to make dinner special indeed, you'll have this prize worth more than $2,400, this lavish dining suite. Elegant Royal and Dining Furniture by Keller. Solid maple with deep cherry hued luster, built with old-fashioned pride. Royal and by Keller. This special dinner package is worth in cash and prizes over $4,550. All right, Ted. I know your girlfriend Joanne really wants to help you out this time. Joni. Joni, excuse me. Well, where are you gonna go to start off? I call her Joanne sometimes myself. So, uh... <laughs> All right. I Name your poison. What I'm are you gonna, gonna do? start with three this time. He likes number three. Let's see what's behind. Oh! I don't believe it. That's uh, twice in a row. I tried to outsmart the dragon, and he outsmarted me. One more time, but that's okay. Let's find out where everything was before we go any further. Where were they hiding? Tick and the tack were up there. Bonnet, they're in the top left this time, right next to each other. Hey, that's okay, because right now you're up to $8,200. I'll take it. We're going to take a break and be right back. Don't go away. <laughs> I like it. Crazy, different, and... Scott came in a winner about a half hour ago, and you're going to be leaving a winner. So far, you've been doing pretty well. What do you think so far? Well, I've, I've had some problems with the dragon, but uh, I don't think I can really complain with where I'm at right now. I, I guess you're right. You're going to have to practice up overnight and make sure you know exactly how to play that bonus game next time around. Tomorrow, I'll get it. Tomorrow's another day, and you're going to be, uh, well, so far, to your credit, $8,200 is what Ted has won. Congratulations. Thank you. We'll see how well you do tomorrow, Ted. Thank you. I'm Jim Caldwell. See you next time. Got the dinner.
Good to see you back. Remind us, where do you...